up guys, it's Austin with Hot Rod Heaven. I'm here with Luke and Jordan. And today we are gonna talk about this freaking amazing ride that you guys put together. We are at their shop where they do everything in house. I saw these guys at SEMA and I saw this truck and my mind was blown. So I knew I had to film this thing. So tell me, what do we have here? So what it is, it's a factory 535 hot rod truck. And we had a customer that's pretty close to us reach out and tell us who, we actually built him a Cobra first. Okay. And then he wanted a matching truck. So that's kind of where the paint scheme came from. So he kind of gave us some ideas of what he wanted, wheels, tires, kind of stuff like that. And then we kind of took it a little over the top, as you can tell, and that's kind of how it was born. Yeah, man, this thing is nuts. Usually I say like, let's lift up the hood, but obviously there's no hood here and you just see a giant motor. So Luke, do you want to tell me a little bit about the motor that we have here? Yeah, definitely. This is a Coyote motor, Gen 3 block with Gen 2 heads. And we did that so that we can get our custom valve covers on there with the, you know, HRB Customs. Paired with that, we got the Frankenstein billet aluminum intake to go with that, with the intercoolers already in the intake. The whole motor was built by Performance Race Engines. They did the block and the heads and, you know, upgrade pistons and sleeves and cams and stuff like that. And we also got the twin 68 millimeter Garrett turbos, producing all the, all the boost. Lots of power, shoots flames out the side out of this nice titanium exhaust. There's just a lot going on in this one little area for sure. Yeah, definitely. And there's so much more to this car that it, it's like everywhere I look, I'm like, dude, there. It, 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 it's hard for me to even tell you guys, like this thing has so many bells and whistles, it's nuts. And something that is actually pretty cool, they have the running lights and the blinkers coming off these turbos, which is such a, a genius thing. Like I've never seen that before. So did you guys did all the welding and everything on this car? We did in house, yes. I didn't personally weld up. We've got a guy that does our welding yeah, for us, sure. but Jordan and I tacked up everything and our guy welded everything up from there. And that's so awesome that you guys do everything in house like this and it's so custom one-off stuff. What is the horsepower that this thing is making? I mean, it looks like a freaking beast. Well, when we dynoed it, we just kept adding power and power and power, you know, working our way up. Yeah. And we got up to a thousand 1023, I believe it was 15 pounds of boost at uh, 1023 to the tires. Holy and moly. That wasn't even really pushing it. Motor's built for like 16, 1700 horsepower. Okay. So we could have kept going with it, but totally. that was right before SEMA and we did not want to mess anything up. Yeah. So we called it at a thousand and said, that's good for now. We'll just leave it there. So the transmission we got here is the billet aluminum 6XD sequential transmission, okay. six speed. So this thing is just gnarly when you're getting on it. You just pull back yeah. first, second, third. <laughs> totally. It's it's really cool feel and you can feel it shift into every single gear. Yeah. So. And guys, these these dudes aren't even 21. These guys are 20 <laughs> years old. I'm I'm 28, so I feel a little bit old, but these guys are young guns on the come up doing incredible things. So let's talk about the wheels and tires a little bit. What are the wheels that you're rocking on the car? Because I mean, dude, they I feel like they're perfect. So they're BC forged wheels. I don't remember like this model, but the insides powder coated gum metal gray to match the frame itself, kind of how we got the frame color. Uh, and the customer wanted a big lip, so he wanted a chrome lip to kind of make it pop. I mean, that colored hardware you see in titanium bolts, that's what holds the whole wheel together because it's a three-piece wheel. And then this front suspension is their Mittler Brothers hydro shocks. Okay. So instead of like coilovers yeah. and airbags and stuff, this uses hydraulic fluid to lift the truck up and down. So we had to upgrade or kind of modify the front control arm on the truck in order to allow it to move up that much because it would hit certain things if it wasn't high enough. So we kind of had to figure that out and when we first got the truck. So the front wheels are 19 inch because we got a 295 tire on the front and that's in the back are 20s. Like you were saying, he kind of likes drag racing stuff. So yeah. he likes the big tires in the back and For the sure. kind of skinniers in the front. So it's got the six piston wheel wheels in the front and then I think it's four piston in the back. It's got the electric parking brake. So all you do is flip a switch and it turns the parking brake on instead of the handle. Dude, that's, so that's so awesome. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty trick, man. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, let's let's go ahead and, and walk in the back because it's freaking pretty crazy over there. We'll talk about the suspension back there. We've got the four inch Mittler Bros Hydro Shocks back here again. And we had to custom make our own shock towers and cut out a hole in the bed up here to actually, you know, accommodate for them to have room to go. So they go off the control arms off the rear end and then I had to build that shock tower up there. Along with that, allowing the truck to actually be able to lift up and down we had to do all kinds of stuff with modifying the frame, allowing the control arms places to move. So, you know, like right there, we notched out the frame for that strut brace to actually have somewhere to go. 
You know, there's just a lot going on back here. We've got dual coolers for the intercooler and transmission. We've got the aeromotive fuel pump kind of tucked away down there. A big thing we really liked was having our three matching tanks for fuel tank in the middle, hydraulics for the shocks on the right side, and then the intercooler tank on the left side. So we just thought it was really cool having everything look symmetrical and all polished here in the back. We did have to completely custom make the bed frame here. So, you know, we laid it out boxed it out and then got all these braces and everything welded up in here just to support this super heavy piece of carbon fiber yeah <laughs> yeah the carbon fiber looks so good and what's super cool is this very unique reaper on the back here what about the the rear end on the car so that's your standard 8.8 .8 okay. mustang rear end so nothing too fancy there but it definitely handles the power so we did add in that light in the bottom took the pan on the back side and cut it out and molded it in just to have that led light bar flush in there that's actually that comes off of like you know you put underneath a tailgate on a truck yeah. <laughs> and we took it and made it work back here and then we took the license plate actually and cut out the back and that's one of our signature things we do is yeah. make it nice and flush and this whole wing is really like kind of drag inspired so we took that and we made this out of sheet metal and got it how we wanted to and then we shipped that off to our guy and he made it all out of carbon fiber so for the most part the leds kind of just run all the way up to the front of the car and it's kind of weird because everything's so exposed on this car. Yeah, You've got to find spots to hide the LEDs. So it was just kind of figuring out where we can weave them in and out to give a good underglow. But at the same time, when you're looking at it, you don't see the light. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, dude, this thing looks honestly, the stance and everything with the suspension and the lights, it just looks so mean. And I feel like the Reaper is just like a perfect yeah. like definition for this car so. oh just wait till we get to the inside yeah uh, <laughs> speaking of which let's let's go ahead and yeah. do that it's a little bit different than what i typically do but this thing is so custom we had to just get in the car to see everything so tell me a little bit about like what are what are these seats here is this these are all custom right yeah, so the truck came with like a bucket seat, kind of as the old style, kind of how it was in the 30s. One of our friends in Marietta did all the interior. Okay. Um, that's what he does for a living. So the, he kind of made it inspired like the old Ferrari seats or like the old Ford GT seats with like the kind of holes cut yeah, in the interior. Yeah. So that's kind of where he got that design from and he kind of integrated that into the floor mats and the Reaper logo, like we, what the name of the truck is. And then I love that you can see the transmission in here. Like, guys, I, I'm lost for words when I'm, I'm not joking when I say that like this car is so unique it's so awesome and it, tell me a, a little bit about the the shifter here like this is freaking sick <laughs> so it's a piece of billet that we had custom like CNC to make look like the reaper scythe yeah. I think that's how you say it so that's kind of where that came from kind of tie into the reaper theme and kind of bring it all together and we need something cool instead of just like a little shift ball up there yeah totally and what's also super unique about this is like you have two giant screens here like this is so freaking cool yeah so the top one's gonna be like your tachometer speed and it shows like your fuel pressure and voltage and stuff so that's your main informational screen and then the bottom's gonna be your infotainment like video and music and stuff like that kind of screen yeah and it's got apple carplay on here it has the cameras on the left and right when you yeah. put the blinkers on and everything which i thought was super super cool something i also thought was pretty cool you have heated and ventilated seats in this car are you joking me i i also don't have that on my new car dude come on <laughs> what about the the steering wheel you got a the sparco steering yeah. wheel on there but it also comes Quick off yeah. yeah so you just pull a little lever it'll come off so you can hang it looking at the car shows so we got luke here he's going to talk a little bit behind the scenes of how all this stuff works you know you see all this fancy electronic stuff but you don't really think about how it works and we've got the mtron kv8 ecu unit here powering all the motor transmission everything electronic to make this car move on top of that we have the ames pdm 32 unit so the power distribution module is just perfect because it runs this whole 10 inch screen here you've got all these different modes you can cycle through and there's no fuses or relays anywhere on the car it's just all done through that system if something trips look up underneath there you see the red light and you can reset it and you're back to good the speedometer runs off a of gps and whatever i want to do i just hook up the laptop right there and i can change the whole way this looks acts runs the time and energy that went into this car and just the little details like that, like there's so much more than meets the eye on this car, which is absolutely incredible. And I keep saying car, I know it's a truck, but this thing is freaking so cool. I think that kind of wraps it up here. I, 
I want to say we go ahead and get a camera in the car and, and go for a cruise in this thing. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Man. All right, cool. I also want to give a huge shout out to Gum Out for sponsoring this video. You've seen them in a lot of our videos before. They make awesome products. What they did was hook up these guys with an awesome care package. They gave them some Gum Out Regain. What this does is it cleans the entire fuel system, removes carbon deposits, and cleans fuel injectors and carburetors to maximize fuel economy and horsepower. So huge shout out to Gum Out for helping me out with this channel and also huge shout out to you guys seriously this is an awesome build and i know we are definitely going to be back because we've already seen a little bit of sneak peek of what you guys got going on so tell the camera tell everybody out there where can they find you guys if they want to have anything built or just to kind of keep up with what you guys are doing so uh, our website is hotrodbrotherscustoms.com you can go find us there we got instagram TikTok, youtube all that stuff at Hot Rod Brothers Customs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, make sure that you like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Ooh.